Hi y'all, Erin went to the grocery store and I'm gonna share with you the grocery haul, so let's get into it. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos. I sent Aaron to the grocery store for diapers. This is what he came back with. <laughs> so we're gonna go over this and then I want you guys to guess. He's still grabbing a few things uh, to put up here for us. But uh, I figured I would share with you Aaron's grocery haul. We've got a lot of chaos in the background. Looks like we have about two days worth of pizzas. <laughs> A day is of ice cream. No, so um, we get these pizzas because we're exhausted parents and every once in a while we like yeah. to have a night off. So once a week, sometimes, just times, twice a week, we do pizza night and we get Hagen these Daya, 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 deliciously, name. deliciously dairy-free pizzas. We stocked up one, two, three, four, five pizzas for her. And then we got one, two, three, four, five pizzas for the boys. We always say the boys, but Annika's included in that group. Um, she's a girl, but she doesn't eat this. She eats these. So we got one pizza for each night for them. And then Hagen's. And then she always takes her leftovers to work. And then over here we've got... Uh, I mean, she takes her leftover pizzas <laughs> to school, which is like work. <laughs> so we've got this Tillamook peaches and cream ice cream for the dairy eaters in the family. We got some slow churned cookie dough for the dairy eaters. And then Hagen got her some oat milk salted caramel. This is delicious. I've had this before. It's amazing. And I think it's dairy free. Yes, it is. So that's perfect for her. She's got those. We got to get her as many calories as we can. Then um, we got the pepperoncini. These are delicious. These Kettle Brand chips. And then for Aaron and myself, we eat chicharrones on occasion. That helps break up our diet, gives us a little bit of texture, that kind of thing. We can do like, um, well, I can't do nachos because of cheese, but I like to eat these with my meat sometimes. What happened? Oh no. Got more pepperoncini, but Aaron got one, two, three, four, five, six bags of chicharroni. Oh, there's eight bags of chicharroni. He really stocks up on stuff when he goes to the store because we don't really like to grocery shop. So when we go, we try to get as much stuff as we can. And then somebody, I think these might be for Riker, the chicharroni, the flaming hot. Because I don't think Aaron's going to be brave enough to do that. No, that's poison for Riker. Yeah, that's poison for our son. <laughs> um, we can't eat things like that because the peppers hurt us very badly. Um, down here, this uh, is Kite Hill dairy free this is made with almond milk and this one's made with almond milk last week we got a cashew cream cheese and i think Hagen really liked that i hope she likes this one too and then we got goat cheese crumbles because they're delicious and i can eat those hold on i gotta pick up my baby all right we also got some more ice cream right there and then um we've been putting these in Hagen's lunches because um we I, actually that's what i should have gotten you to get was a thermos for her to put her oat milk in but instead i told aaron to get these um her thermos is broken i don't know why that didn't dawn on me to get her a thermos for her oat milk uh but we got her those for her lunches and then we got a bag of cuties two bags of cuties organic oranges or organic what are these mandarins and one bunch of bananas and two bunches of seedless grapes. Aaron wants to make some grape ice cream, so I've stuck some grapes. I stuck some grapes already in the freezer for him to make grape ice cream or nice cream. So the kids eat the ice cream, and then he and I will do like fruit smoothies or fruit ice cream, nice cream. It's basically just frozen fruit blended up really thick and not as smooth as a smoothie. So we do that, and then we got two bags of these Honey Crisp apples. And hold on, y'all. And the reason I sent him to the store was for the diapers. We are slowly potty training Bodie, but we're still in diapers. But he's doing pretty good. Um, he does use the potty sometimes, but not all the time. So we're still having number two accidents, and that's okay. So big pack of diapers. Not the toilet paper, not the paper towels, but our grand total 
for Aaron's grocery haul. No eggs, forgot about the eggs, but that's okay. We'll get them next time. 231 even. He saved $44. So for this grocery haul was $231. That's a lot of piece of money. Thanks for watching Aaron's grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. He had fun grocery shopping. Yeah, with all the kids, it was awesome. Yeah, he took all five kids to the grocery store during rush hour. It was like 4.30. Brave. Yeah, we parked next to this old, dirty truck that was feeding the seagulls. So everywhere. It was awesome. He parked strategically. Yeah, park away from everything. I don't try to park next to the seagull kingdom. Like there was literal seagull feathers falling on me, taking the cart back. I'm not joking. And it was all over the truck. <laughs> all over the truck? Yeah, it got all over the truck. He was like, well, it could be worse, I guess. I can't handle it, you all. This is Aaron's new uh, cane, but we're gonna have to get one with a stiffer shaft. <laughs> a little bit. He's concerned he might mess up his golf club. Hagen's helping him to the table. I hit the gluten-free mother load, gluten-free mu uh, muffins, gluten-free that stuff. I don't even care, y'all. If I can't have my homemade bread, I'm gonna buy some of this stuff. What is this, yellow cake mix? Gluten-free, keto-friendly, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. What else we got here? Poppy seed dressing, ooh, probably has lots of seed oils in it. Here's a bunch of gluten-free cookie stuff. It's all on sale, so I'm gonna load up. So I shared with you guys uh, earlier in this video, Aaron's grocery haul, and he really only went in to get bananas, but grabbed a few other things. And then this is my grocery haul, same thing. I only went in to grab bananas and they had some sales and then we of course needed a few other small necessities so i tried not to go too crazy but let me share with you what i got let's start start back here with our paper goods we were all out of tissues because six season so we had to restock on those and grab some freezer ziploc bags because we do a lot of freezing and portioning of all sorts of things so i always need those especially for my bread I need to find a better solution for that. I used to use tortilla bags, um, but we don't get tortillas anymore, so that's that. All right, right here we got one, two, three, four eggs. They only had one pack of the organic cage-free, so then we just got their natural cage-free eggs, and we always buy the 18 pack of eggs. These were $4.99, I believe, and these were like $5.99, so very expensive still because we used to pay about two dollars for these eggs and about three dollars for those so they're still pretty expensive um, they had this grass-fed organic two percent milk on sale uh, we went ahead and got the two percent so i typically try to buy whole milk for my kids but when there's a good sale i will buy the two percent milk it's not that big of a deal to me and then down here we got hagen and myself some plant-based coconut vanilla uh, vanilla cinnamon yogurt. So I got four of those for us and for the other kids we got some organic whole milk vanilla yogurt. Back here we have sour cream for Aaron and the kids and then for Hagen and I I found plant-based sour cream. I was really excited about that because I'm dairy free. Um, Hagen is dairy free and this one is made with coconut cashew milk, coconut cream, tapioca starch, all that good stuff. So no milk, it contains coconut and cashews. Um, I've been trying to stay away from nuts and seeds, but at this point, I don't care. I need calories, so I've been craving um, Aaron's sour cream when he puts it on everything, and I just really needed to vary my diet. So I'm gonna have cashews. Um, I've always done well with cashews and coconut, so that is what we have. I'll quickly go through the produce that I got for this week. We've got some 50-50 blend to make salads and quiches. We've got some whole organic carrots. The kids love to eat these. I use them in soups and stews as well. Six cucumbers and then two packs of organic mandarins. One pack of organic kiwi fruit. 
we got three large bunches of bananas and one more bag of Honeycrisp apples. We still have some Honeycrisp apples right there. Um, so we grabbed another bag. Hagen loves ranch, so I purchased some plant-based ranch dressing. One of these days I'll make it, but I'm not making it right now. So she's got that. Then over here, this was mostly a Hagen haul to get chicken and turkey products because we have lots of elk, we have lots of beef, we have lots of deer meat, and we're set for red meat, mammal meat stuff, so we needed to grab her some things. So when I make the kids a jambalaya, I can make it with this hardwood smoked uncured turkey sausage. I'm going to throw that in the freezer and use that one night for like a rice dish with um, some different things in it. It's yummy. Uh, right here we've got uncured turkey hot dogs for Hagen. We also grabbed three packs of uncured hardwood smoked turkey bacon. So we'll cook those up and we'll all have those together as a family probably, or I might cook some up and then freeze her a little bit. Back here we've got organic ground turkey. I can use those in chilies for the family. Um, and I also, one of you mentioned that I should be making Hagen um, homemade turkey sausages myself. So I can make her some turkey sausages and pop those into the freezer for her. We'll figure out, I'll share with you guys what I end up doing with that ground turkey meat. I always share with you the meals that we make for the most part. Sometimes I don't because um, it gets kind of redundant around here. Chicken patties for Hagen. That's when we have, if we have like a red meat or a mammal meat based dinner, she can have a chicken patty on some homemade bread. She is not gluten free. Thank goodness she can have gluten. Um, she can have bread and stuff like that. That's something that is a blessing. So we have chicken maple breakfast sausage, chicken and sage breakfast sausage, and savory turkey breakfast sausage. All of these are Applegate. And we will see which one she likes the most. The ones that she doesn't like, I'll eat them or Aaron will eat them. The kids will eat them. Well, I don't think Aaron will because they have uh, spices, herbs and spices in them, but the kids will definitely probably eat them. And then back here we grab some bone-in skin on party wings. We love making um, wings in our air fryer. So those are really, really good. We grabbed those conventional. Um, they didn't have, I guess I should have checked in the organic chicken area. I can't say that they didn't have organic wings, but I just bought the frozen ones. And then we also needed wipes. So we got three, six packs of the seventh oops, generation wipes. And those were on clearance. They were on sale. We grabbed organic potato chips. They were on sale. They're normally $5 for this bag and um, it is five ounces. We got it for $2.64. So I went ahead and grabbed three of those. Let me come over here and show you the rest of it. Got the kids some crackers. They can do cheese and crackers. Hagen can smear her cream cheese on the crackers. They're good with soups, whatever. I don't always buy crackers, but on occasion I do, so I bought two boxes to stock up on those because we don't have any more. And then the sales section at Fred Meyers today had so much gluten-free stuff on sale, and um, I need some help making gluten-free products for myself. I'm trying to eat some more food and gain a little bit of weight back on, so grab these gluten-free things and a whole bunch over there we'll show you in a second. So this one is the brownie mix. It was $8.49 originally, but we got it for $5.26. I can make this gluten-free bread in the bread machine and then I can freeze, slice it and freeze what I don't eat and then on the days when I'm craving bread, I can pop one of these in the toaster from the freezer and have a slice of bread with my eggs or whatever. So I thought that was cool. And it was the only box that they had um, originally $5.49. I never buy gluten-free baking mixes because they're so expensive. So really happy that they had this in the store on sale. And then this is a focaccia mix, gluten-free, grain-free, all that stuff. The Kacha Mix, $5.49. I got it for $3.40 today. Over here, they had the one-to-one -one baking mix. So hopefully I can learn how to make bread in the bread machine for myself, and I can use this for that. And I can also use this for tons of other recipes. I can make gravies with it. 
make breading with it, banana bread, you know, anything. You just, this is this equal parts to what a cup of flour is. So one cup of this is gonna equal one cup of flour in any of the baking, mix, um, baking recipes. Uh, originally, one of these bags was $7.49 and I got them for $3.79. I did not buy all that they had. I left some there, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight to stock up um, so that I can make myself gluten-free bread. And I was pleased with the ingredients in those. We also like to bake once a week. Um, and so... I am always very tempted to eat the kids' baked goods. I ate a cupcake and I shouldn't have the other day for Bodie's birthday. So these were originally $10.49 and I got the gluten-free brownie mixes for $4.93 a piece. So I bought one, two, three, four, five, six. They had gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, everything. Chocolate chip cookie bake mix and uh, those were originally $5.499, and I got them each for two. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. These are going to be a lifesaver for our baking nights when we bake. The kids can help me make those super easy. No, this isn't made from scratch, but who cares? It's awesome. Bare minimum, bare muffin bake mix. They had a bunch of these, but I only got two of them because I don't know. I'm not a huge muffin person. I'm more of a chocolate chip and brownie person, but we got the muffins anyways. I might bake these up all at once and stick them in the freezer for myself to have uh, a baked good snack. I always do that for the kids. They always have leftover pancakes, leftover waffles, leftover muffins in the freezer, but I can never eat those. So now I'll be able to make the things that I want and I don't have to feel too guilty. They're still expensive, but I feel really good about spending this money on these gluten-free products so that I can have a little bit of variety in my diet because I'm getting really bored of the rice, the meat, and the fruit. And I, I gotta eat, girls gotta eat. So that's everything that we got. If you have any questions, post them down below in the video's description. Let's find this receipt. Where did I put it? This is the receipt. If you need to pause it and compare prices with what you have where you are at, and you can do that. But all the way down here, it says Fred Meyer's savings was $13.90. I feel like that's not true because I feel like I saved a lot more than that on all that gluten-free stuff, but I think it doesn't account for it doesn't account for the, this discount. It only accounts for the other things that I bought that they had like Fred Meyer's savings on. So this ended up being where is it? $332.91, $332.91 for all of that. And that's gonna get us through the next couple weeks. Okay, I put all of my cookie doughs, my muffin mixes, my gluten-free brownie mixes, everything in here. I've got one of each minus the muffins up there. And we'll make those in the next couple weeks, but we just wanted to keep these safe. So we're gonna put them in this bucket and just put a regular seal on top. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.